Rosie Romero and I am part of the A Place project. I am also a researcher at Caillou Leuven and um, I'm as well an activist and, um, in the collective called Herb. And uh, Herb, we, we basically try to create structures uh, with the community and also collaborate with different associations uh, that are also trying to build a community participatory uh, development of the spaces and so we were contacted by Kulturgem um, to construct a inflatable structure on which we have done before called the bubble and the new bubble actually was commissioned to host uh, different activities that Kulturgem is quite active in. I'm Yannick from Kulturgem. We're a Brussels based association working right here on Abattoir. We try to be kind of the social office of this semi-private space where we collaborate with a private firm Abattoir to open up this space to as many people as we can. We have a project called Collectmet where we recuperate the leftovers of the market with a group of volunteers. This is in normal times like a group of 20 or 30 people collect about two or three tons of food every weekend, which is then normally redistributed with all people who need it and partner organizations who work in welfare and who do other things. So hi, I'm uh, Victoria. I'm uh, working at Culturium since two years and I'm managing the project of CollectMet. Every Sunday we go with uh, some volunteers on the market uh, to collect the unsold fruits and vegetables. Afterwards, all the volunteers can also take some part home and the rest is stored in the fridge and will be redistributed on Monday. Uh, so we have some organizations that are coming, that are organizations uh, in the food aid and they are going to redistribute uh, after to uh, their uh, public. And then here we have the deliveries by bike. We deliver to the people uh, that have some difficulties uh, to move, so people uh, with a small baby or old people for which it's complicated to take the public transportation and so on. For the others, they can come here, pick up their colleague uh, at the drive-in. Uh, and so we have about 160 people coming every, uh, every Monday and Tuesday to collect their uh, food packets and deliveries. For the moment, we're at 140 deliveries. So in total, it goes basically to more than 1,000 people. And then we have also Collect Mess Open Kitchen, uh, where we cook with the unsold foods and vegetables. My name is Sarah and I work here in the kitchen with Kulturchem. Every Monday, Tuesday and Wednesday we cook in the morning and we do the food for volunteers and Wednesday we are doing an open kitchen. So people who work around, they come, they have a lunch with us and it's super amazing. I study Dutch now and when I had the chance to be a volunteer I just went for it. It's vegetarian food most of the time. Every day in the morning I wake up, when I come here, uh, I enter inside the fridge with William. So we decide about the fruit and veggies inside the fridge, what we are cooking today. So uh, we try to give the fruit and veggies second life. So sometimes we do a jam or sometimes we are just doing a juice. We trying to do like zero waste of food. Sometimes I just get the menu from William and sometimes I tell him, oh, there is something new in my head, let's just do it. Since Corona started, we felt an explosion of the demand while the, the markets closed down. So we didn't have our source of food was, was gone. So we collaborated with uh, Sam Living Zobau Brussel, uh, a welfare organization in Brussels, to set up food share platform Abattoir where we now we collect from the market three tons a week, plus we buy leftovers from fruit and vegetable vendors over Flanders, we also always leftovers. And by doing this, it's like about 12 tons of food every week, and we share it with more than 2,000 people every week right now. Before Corona, we weren't doing any d deliveries by bike, but we changed uh, afterwards because we, people had to stay home, so now the market started again, so we can again collect it, but we need to be uh, careful for the rules. We have to wear a mask always, wash our hands, keep distance. 
So uh, it's a bit different, but it's nice that we can still continue helping the, the people that need it. We're open to everyone, and that's a bit the strength of CollectMet, that all the volunteers are mixed and you have some people coming to meet some other people, some coming because they want to, uh, they, they need some fruits and vegetables, so from different purpose, and that makes a, a very uh, diverse group, but that, that's very, uh, very strong. Je suis volontaire à Culture Game. Voilà, Culture Game, euh, voilà, nous on fait dans euh, l'alimentation, aider les personnes démunies, les personnes euh, qui n'arrivent pas à se nourrir convenablement. Et déjà avec le coronavirus, il y a beaucoup de personnes qui euh, ont eu des difficultés. Et pour le projet de Culture Game, c'est de ravitailler ces personnes, les aider à mieux se nourrir. Voilà, et moi, comme je disais volontairement, je suis venu pour aider aussi Culture Game. Ici, on n'a pas de, de pause fixe. Tu peux travailler aujourd'hui dans la collection, le chargement, dans euh, le triage, dans le transport. On fait un peu de tout, on a besoin de tout le monde ici. Et on a encore besoin des personnes. Et moi, ça me fait du bien de pouvoir aider des gens, parce que euh, les personnes n'ont besoin que de ça, d'aide. À ce point, nous avons besoin de bike delivery people, people who want to help us ride around all the, the colis around Brussels. Because we, the city is slowly rolling again, means lots of our volunteers are going back to work. We're working every Monday, every Tuesday with a lot of local people trying to spread as much food as we can. But the more hands we get, the more we can do. Uh, so it's very multicultural, what I, what I like, and I like also. Uh, helping the people uh, in need and, and see that we're doing something good for the, for the society. That's very important to me. What we're going to do in the future is maybe more interesting question. Short answer is we don't know. What we think the answer is in, in having local networks that can provide food access for local people. Not too much limitations on where to get food. Just, just providing healthy food to people, I think, is like a basic way of organizing life in our society. So I think that's maybe our mission. They are trying to develop a lot of um, activities that involve food. And as we see today, they are doing uh, this Collect Met, which is a, a sort of uh, initiative to combat against waste food. Uh, and they're also trying to involve the volunteers to be part of this. Um, and. And during this process, they also try to create a sort of community around food. And so they, they, they try to cook together and to create an environment where people can come and have a nutritious free meal. And, and so we were, during this process, we decided to create the bubble um, through a participatory way. And so we will develop this with the community and the volunteers from Kulturgem in the coming fall. And so we are trying to understand what happens here and the sort of initiative that they have uh, around food and how this like, inflatable structure will shelter uh, during the winter times these, uh, this initiative of open tables. And so we are part of this and the Delicious Place uh, project is trying to a bit communicate uh, the initiatives here in Brussels um, and this is the connection to the learning bubble which will be the inflatable structure that we will construct for them and then we will also use another uh, activities for the A Place um, project and so we're very excited to to get to know Kulturgem and to be part of this uh, movement. Oh, okay.